Oops. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another Jasmine Extreme. I'm so excited you're here today because we have a very exciting new development. We have the new high school years pack and I actually bought it. Yay! <laughs> So, uh, for today's stream, I was planning to do a high school years pack Rags to Riches. I'm really excited about it. Uh, I watched James Turner's Rags to Riches um, early access uh, videos on his YouTube channel. So I was kind of inspired by it. It looked really fun and I really wanted to use the new trendy pack. So I'm here in the game and I haven't really opened it yet. All I did was like go in just to make sure that like all of my settings were good but I haven't loaded any new games and as you can see here let's jump into the game <laughs> we have my old save which was the um super rich super villain pack so instead of this I'm going to go to new game so excited <laughs> oh my gosh I'm so excited <laughs> Okay, so um, we aren't going to do the fun personality quiz because we want our own personality for my character. And actually, you guys might think I'm so dorky, but I wrote some notes about it. <laughs> I was like planning my character because I was so excited. <laughs> and um, you'll see, but my character will be loosely based on me in high school like i said loosely based a little bit different because i do not like playing with sim cells in general oh thank you keiji sound is clear thank you so as i said i do not like playing with sim selves but i always make my sims a little bit loosely based on myself meaning they usually look a little bit um racially ambiguous <laughs> and mixed and um, personality-wise, I think it's going to be similar to my high school self, which will be fun, I think. So, I'm going to make a female sim. Oh, she looks cool already. I think these are some of the new outfits. Super cool. I might keep this sim, actually. So, I'm going to make her a teen. She doesn't look much different. Whoa, super cool. Okay, so let's jump into Cass. I do like her. Huh. But I was thinking a little bit different. Okay, I like the eyes. Her mouth is cute too. Let me see if I can choose a different face. Um, so like I said, I wanted her to be like racially ambiguous. <laughs> ethnically ambiguous so let's see oh she's cute Ooh, i like her prominent nose like the roman nose and the deep set eyes i think that's cool we might adjust the eyes a little bit but i like the roman nose that's cool so we might keep the bottom part a little bit like, I was kind of thinking I wanted her to have, like, a little bit of a bump in her nose, which is kind of like me. Let me see if I can do that. Is that the best we can do? Hmm. Maybe I need to go to detail edit to do that. Okay, maybe this one and then in detail edit mode, I might just add like a little, little bump. Sure, sure, why not? <laughs> a little bit. I think she looks good. I think I want to like lower her mouth a little bit. Just bringing it down, Ooh. down, like here. Ah, oh, yes, there we go. 
Yeah. I think that looks more natural. And then her eyes, I want to change a little bit. Let's see. Ooh. That's cute. And then her eyebrows also, I want to change. Ooh, yeah, I like the hooded eyes. Those are cute. She does look a little bit like an adult, though. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, she looks a little bit like an adult. I don't know. She looks like a teen. Yeah, she looks like a teen. It's okay. So, let me see if I can adjust her eyebrows a little bit. I'm going to give her custom eyebrows just because... Like, I can't with the EA lashes. I mean, the EA eyebrows. <laughs> and I think I'll give her, like, brown hair. A little bit darker, maybe. Yeah. Thick eyebrows. Oh my gosh, I'm really channeling high school Jessica. <laughs> okay. Oh, I like the thick eyebrows. Those are cute. Like, she wouldn't have really groomed them, I think. Yeah. So, um, like, for her quick backstory, please suspend disbelief a little bit. But I'm gonna make her, like, a runaway teen. So it's kind of a cross between the rags to riches and the runaway teen challenge. In that she won't have any other family members. And she's going to be starting with completely no money, just an empty lot. And she's going to have to build her way up to get rich, basically. <laughs> Using Trendy, her part-time job, and, you know, just attending high school. Um, so, like, yes, suspend disbelief a little bit. But my story is that her parents, like, she doesn't have a great relationship with her parents. And she ran away <laughs> uh, to live with her grandparents. Uh, however... She found out that they had passed away and they left a plot of land <laughs> for her. And so she's going to pretend that she's living with her grandparents, but she's actually alone and living on this plot of land. So yeah, kind of cross between the runaway teen challenge and the rags to riches challenge and like Stardew Valley, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Just roll with it. So, um, yeah, she's gonna be all on her own. I think she does look young now with the eyebrows. I like that. So yeah, she's all alone and um, she's gonna have to make it in the world by herself. Let me see. Maybe a little bit less. Huh. Oh, I like that. That's good. I do want her nose to be a bit bigger though. Hold on. I was thinking like, yeah, like a little hump. I like that, like a little hook. That's cute. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Okay, so let's go to skin details. The hair I'm gonna choose later. Let me see. Do I like that? I think so. Yeah, I think she's cute. So for the uh, skin details, let's see. I have a few. I think I might do the Kaluna skin blend just to make her look younger, you know? Because she's supposed to be a teen. Hello, Teddy. Hello there, fellow streamer. How are you doing, Teddy? I'm playing the new Sims 4 High School Years pack, so I'm super excited. <laughs> It's my very first playthrough. Yes. So uh, this is my new character for the high school years pack. And we're doing rags to riches. Yeah, I think I like Kaluna skin blend here. Ooh, I like this one with the eye bags. Yeah, that's cute. I think I'm doing that. I'm doing pretty all right. How about you? I'm doing great. <laughs> I It was like I was going to Disneyland today because last night I just couldn't sleep. I was so excited about this new pack and I was just thinking about all of the possibilities. 
so yeah i didn't sleep super well but i'm really excited just like running on pure adrenaline right now <laughs> yes <laughs> how about you okay so yeah i think her nose is cute like the slight hook i love her eyes they're so cute her eyebrows are perfect yeah so i'm liking this i'm just gonna give her some wait let me see no no not that i think i'm gonna give her some like low-key lashes like this maybe wait does she have ea lashes because i might want to remove those let's see no she doesn't have it okay i think i want to give her a few moles as well and freckles huh moles or freckles maybe just moles yeah let's do moles and then we can give her some eyelashes as well yeah i like the low-key ones like oh those are cute maybe even brown oh no these are good yeah yeah i like that okay so let's choose a hair okay so we have my cc of course but i want to see the hair from the new pack so let's filter by where is it high school years yay <laughs> okay so we filtered by high school years and oh actually there are quite a few new hairs that's nice okay we have this one it's like a braided little hairstyle with a ponytail in the back that's cute um this one which is also cute very cute this bubble hairstyle super adorable this little headband style oh that looks good on her oh she's so cute i love her like round face and her cheeks so adorable um we have this one with the little braided front pieces which i'm kind of vibing today <laughs> Yeah, this one is really cute as well. Um, this poof updo. Very adorable. This kind of crimped hairstyle. Oh, that looks good on her. Yeah, I'm vibing that as well. And let's see. Oh, yeah. This. Oh, that looks kind of formal. I think this is like the prom hairstyle. So one cool thing is there's prom in this pack. I'm super excited to go there. Yeah. Uh, for me, myself, I only went to junior prom because I I technically, okay, long story short, um, <laughs> I didn't go to my high school senior year. I actually technically dropped out of school in junior year because of health issues. I won't get into it. And I tested out of high school and went to community college when I was 16. So yeah, I didn't have a senior prom, only a junior prom. <laughs> Yeah, that's a story for another day. Or maybe today. We'll see how I feel later. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so it's kind of going to be interesting to play prom in The Sims. It's like a do-over. <laughs> okay, this one's cool. It's like the same hairstyle as before, but like braided. Oh, Teddy, I'm glad you're doing good as well. Very good. What games have you been playing recently, by the way? Oh yeah, this color is cute on her. Super cute. I like this hairstyle. Um, okay, we have this short do. Oh, that is kind of cute. I like it. And then we have this one, another short do. This one, ooh, I think this is the character um, Ash Harjo. She's one of the Sims that was included in the pack, made by EA, I assume. And yeah, she has this hairstyle. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so that's it. That's all the hairs. I'm trying to consider which one I want for her. So let me see. Let me read my notes. <laughs> my notes for a second. Um, okay. So she wants to wear clothes to blend in. I don't know if anyone can relate to this, but when I was in high school, I was actually really into fashion, but like 
on the low low. <laughs> I would never admit, not that I wouldn't admit it, but like I didn't have the confidence to pull off the fashion that I wanted to at school. I really just wanted to blend in at school. I I was like very like socially awkward and shy. <laughs> Of course, around my friends, I opened up, but like, yeah, I did not want to stand out at school. I didn't want to stand out in a good way or a bad way. So I would say I was just like very average, average fashion, average hair. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. So I think she's going to vibe Jessica in high school. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> and um She's going to secretly love fashion, which um, she will reflect in her trendy career. So there's a system in high school years called trendy, where she can, it's kind of like Depop, if you know that, where she can buy and sell fashion. And that's how she's going to be making most of her money in this rags to riches challenge. So I'm really excited about that. Oh, Teddy says, really just been watching other people stream. Cool. Yeah, I've been watching some people stream recently too this week, like in preparation for the high school years pack. I'm really enjoying it too. <laughs> and I also get ideas for my own stream when I watch other people stream. So I think it's good for learning as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, I don't know if you noticed, but I have some like little twinkle lights in the background. I hope it makes some good vibes here. <laughs> so anyways, um, as I was saying, she wants to blend in. So I don't think she would have like a super trendy hairstyle like these. When I was in high school, I mostly wore my hair in a ponytail or like a high bun. Like, I really couldn't be bothered. Also, side note, I have, I really didn't understand my hair texture back then. I had like naturally wavy slash curly hair, which I still do today. Um, but when I was younger, my hair was a lot straighter and more manageable. So like, you know, going through puberty, getting into high school, I just didn't know how to take care of my hair and I straightened it to death. I think that was also like the trend back then, just like super pin straight hair. So like, I kid you not, every morning I would flat iron my hair, which is super unhealthy <laughs> for your hair actually. I do not recommend that. I do not do that anymore. I like hate the flat iron with a passion now, just because of the early mornings I woke up in high school just to straighten my hair and look average. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, really. Like, sometimes I look back and I'm like, why did you do that? You, like, wasted an hour that you could have been sleeping just to straighten your hair. Like, really, nobody cared. <laughs> but, you know, such is life. Okay, so I was thinking either maybe this one, just like having her hair down, or this one's a little bit too trendy for her, but I think it's super cute. Hmm. Or maybe just like a short hairstyle, like this. Could be cute as well. I kind of am vibing the short hair on her. It is cute. Not exactly the vibe, but it's cute. Um, let's see. Maybe there's another hairstyle I can do. Not in the high school years pack. She could just have like braids like this. That reads like blending in to me. Hmm. Or let me see. What's another good one? This one's too stylish, I think. Could just be like this. Yeah, like a low ponytail. A simple low ponytail. Oh no, why is she starting to look like high school me? <laughs> I swear I didn't mean to make a sim self. She's different, okay? She's different. <laughs> um 
Yeah, but I kind of want to give some texture to her hair. A little bit. Perhaps. That could work. Or like this. Even that looks like a little bit too stylish for her, I think. Maybe this one could be good. Just like a simple low ponytail. Or this one with bangs. Yeah. This one's cute too. Hi, Lissim Quattro Trois. Oh my god, I suck at pronouncing French. Sorry. <laughs> but hi, how are you? I'm making my sim here. Um, she is going to be my new sim for the high school years pack. I'm doing a rags to riches challenge. So she's kind of a runaway teen. And she's going to be secretly interested in fashion. But when she goes to school, she wants to just blend in and look very average. So I'm trying to look for like the most average hairstyle I can think of. <laughs> and for me in high school, that was like ponytails and high buns. So I'm trying to channel that a little bit. If I can find something good. Maybe just this? Oh uh, no, I'm not vibing that one. <laughs> hmm. This one? This is very like girl next door. Um, I think this looks too like groomed for the rags to riches challenge. I feel like, yeah, she wouldn't be able to do up her hair like this every day. She's essentially like homeless except for having like an empty lot. So we're gonna need like a more low maintenance hairstyle, I would say. I think I'm gonna go for like the ponytail from earlier, actually. Let me see. Or this one is super cute and it's curly. Yeah, it's kind of, I was gonna say like almost too fashionable. Hmm. Yeah. Would she be able to maintain this hairstyle every day? I'm not even sure. But it is cute and I love the texture. Let's see. This one. Maybe I would go for this one. I feel like this is a prom hairstyle though. Like it's kind of intricate. Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Choices. This one could be cute. But yeah, low maintenance. Low maintenance. Or maybe like just a little side braid could be cute. Hmm, there's this one from Eco Lifestyle. Yeah, like I said, a little bit too high maintenance for rags to riches. There's this. That's adorable on her. But yeah, I kind of wanted her hair to have texture, so... Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Maybe this university hairstyle? Like this? Yeah, that's pretty low maintenance. Maybe even lighter. Mm. Hmm. I might sort by texture, actually. Let's see. Texture, straight and... Or not straight. Afro textured and wavy. One of these. Maybe not even wavy. Like, kind of want her hair to be more on the curly side. This could be okay. Or like this? Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> too nice. There's this. This one as well. She could have short hair. I think I'm actually gonna go for this hair. 
we'll just say this is her natural texture, right? Or she like braids her hair before she goes to sleep and then it looks like this, maybe. So she can have like a low maintenance hairstyle. Yeah, I kind of want to use the new hair, so I'll use this one. And then she's not going to wear any makeup because she does not have time for it, basically. <laughs> yeah, I feel like her head looks a little bit small. But maybe it's the clothing. Huh. Hold on. Yeah, her, hair, her head looks a little small. <laughs> Wait, can I just make it bigger? Oop. Maybe if I click on the body. Um, I think that just made her head wider. I'll undo that. Yeah, it's okay. She's little. <laughs> I actually have like a kind of small head too. Or at least I did in high school, so. Yeah, she's lightly inspired by me. Okay, so clothes, remember, we want it to be low-key because she wants to blend in at school. But I think I am going to give her just one outfit she can wear on the weekend that's like a little bit more like fashionable or daring. Um, but I kind of want to keep it like more low-key for every day. So I think I just want to give her like a t-shirt and jeans for every day. So let's see. I'm going to look at the new pack content. High school years. And tops. Oops. Let's see. High school years. There we go. Oh, look at the tie-dye. Well, I'll just have her try some things on just because I've never seen it. Oh, so cute. It doesn't have any other swatches, which is interesting. I guess because it's technically supposed to be like thrifted clothing, so there would only be one of a kind. But yeah, I've never seen that it only has one swatch before. So yeah, all of this is a little bit too fashionable for her every day, but it is super cute on her. Oh my gosh, so cute. This is adorable as well. It's kind of e-girl, e-girl vibes. This is like more like a uniform. Um, oh yeah, I think I might have her join either the computer club or the chess club. So maybe this one just in like a white color maybe could be good. Just wearing like, I feel like she wouldn't have a lot of clothes since she's supposed to be like basically homeless. Um, so maybe just like a big shirt and some jeans works. I wonder if there's a better option. There's this one too, which eh, I feel like it's too loud. Like she wouldn't be able to blend in with this. So, oh, this is super cute. Sorry, I'm just clicking through all of the cast because all of this is new to me. So, oh my gosh, I cannot wait until, oh wow, she's ripped. Look at those abs. <laughs> I think we're going to tone that down. This, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, but, oh, super cute, boho style. Wow. They have a lot of cast, actually. Oh, this is adorable. Oh, we have just, like, the cropped hoodie. That's cute. Maybe. Maybe that one, actually. Does it have, like, a more black color? Like, just black, maybe? Yeah, maybe this one, because she just wants to blend in and like some high-waisted jeans, maybe. Let's see. Is there any new jeans with this pack? Let's check. This one is cute? Yeah, I agree. Thank you. Thank you for the encouragement. <laughs> yeah, I think this is really good. Like, that was kind of my uniform in high school, just wearing like a simple hoodie and jeans or a t-shirt and jeans so yeah I think this is cute 
let's see. Oh, we have these jeans. Oh, I feel like this is a little bit too trendy for her because she's supposed to be trying to blend in, right? And these are too low waisted. Oh, these are super cool, but yeah, not ideal. Ooh, maybe this one. But yeah, not ideal for blending in. Yeah, huh. Maybe cargo pants? But those, even cargo pants are kind of too trendy, maybe? Like, I wouldn't have worn cargo pants in high school, but I also grew up in a different time. <laughs> where skinny jeans were still popular, so... Um, hmm... There's flares as well. I think too trendy. There's like sweats. I'm not feeling any of these bottoms options. I think I'm just gonna give her some like jeans from my custom content. Let's see. Content, content, custom content. Oh, no high school years. <laughs> There's these ones. Let's take off these shoes because they're throwing me off. Yeah, these ones are pretty high-waisted. But I was hoping for something even more high-waisted, actually. Mm, I feel like those are even too stylish <laughs> no ooh maybe these and just like a regular medium wash or light wash ooh she likes it too <laughs> see maybe oh I kind of like this one this wash this one, ooh, or this one matches better. What do you think of these jeans? I think they're pretty cute. Or we could get ones with a belt. Nah. Or rips. Oh, the rips might be a vibe, actually. Like, she's been... Yeah, maybe the rips. Because they do look kind of natural rippy not like fashion rippy <laughs> well they're all fashionable as well but she looks like she could have just been you know struggling <laughs> Ooh, yeah this wash is cute i think i'm going for these jeans yeah and then we'll give her some socks oh here's a new like what is it called um a corsage or is it a boutonniere I think it's a corsage for prom, this one. Oh, we can't show it. But yeah, for prom, she could wear that. And then, let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for accessories, we're just gonna do socks, I think. Some simple black socks and some tennis shoes, sneakers. Okay, so these are the only new shoes, I think these ones and these ones but I think both of them are a little bit too trendy for her yeah we're just gonna go for some simple like sneakers I think these could be cute or I have some more like dad looking sneakers oh there's the university ones these ones I'm thinking these ones actually and just like a simple either black or like this color maybe like the grayish purple mauve oh they're these ones too they're kind of blue and black oh black and white black and grayish white yeah, think she wants to blend in. Maybe these ones. Yeah. Those are cute. Huh, for socks, maybe I'll make them a little bit longer actually. 
like these guys. Yeah, that works. Okay, so we have her everyday outfit. I'm just gonna give her like one more outfit for the weekend where she tries to be a little bit more daring fashionably. So yeah, I'm kind of excited for that one. Let's see. High school years. Let's see the full body. Ooh, maybe this one. Yeah. This is cute. Which one looks good on her? Hmm. I kind of am vibing the tie-dye. Like the bright colors. I want her to be like very black and white and gray on her school days. And then for her weekends, she's gonna go from like more brighter colors and show off her real personality. Maybe the pink actually. Yeah, I'm vibing the pink. But she only has like one pair of shoes she brought with her, right? But maybe like some knee high socks would be cute. Or these. These are from university. I mean, not university. <laughs> high school years. Okay, those are cute. Is it like clashing patterns too much if I do this? Or this? Or definitely that. Maybe this. It's kind of pattern clashing, but it's the same color vibe, same color story. Yeah. Or we can do like some tights. Let's see. Like some mesh tights or yeah, like these. We can do fishnets and just take off the socks. There's this too. I think that's kind of cool. And then she might do a little bit of makeup on the weekend as well. I'm gonna give her some um, like winged eyeliner. Should I do this one or this one? This one. This one, yeah, it's cute. And then we'll give her like a little bit of blush. Brat's blush? No. This one is cute on her. Maybe like an orangey pinky orangey color yeah that's cute I like that maybe tone it down just a bit yeah that's good and give her like some lip gloss maybe darker color I'm thinking like a darker ooh I like that one or maybe this one and tone it down like this Let's see. That's cute. So this can be her weekend look. And she might change up her hair as well. Her hair can be like, let's see. Mm, let's just check the new pack stuff. These ones. Like this. Maybe she'll straighten her hair and like do it up or something. Yeah, she can try this one. So this is her everyday, like going to school look. And this is her weekend look. What you think? Yeah, I think it's cute. But yeah, she's going to school like this. And then weekend like this. No, you know what? I think I want to just keep her hair. And maybe give her like a bucket hat or something. Just like, yeah, that's cute. Checkered. She has pink. Oh, this one is super cute. Yeah, so on the weekend, she's going to wear more like this kind of style. Streetwear. And then this is her school look. <laughs> it's like night and day. <laughs> she
She's so cute, though. Yeah. Okay. I think we've got the everyday figured out. Let's go to formal. Oh, girl. What are those lashes? What is going on? I think it's because she has accessories on. They kind of conflict with the lashes sometimes. So let's see. Yeah, the body accessories sometimes um, conflict with the Kijiko lashes. So you got to be careful with those. Uh, for formal, let's see, full body. Oh, I think this is too daring if she wore it to school, but maybe she'd wear like this. Or I might have her like actually go to the thrift store and buy a, pro a prom dress. So maybe we'll just keep the same like clothes that she had before. Like maybe the jeans and then she'll just have like a nicer top maybe. Like maybe this and then plus her jeans from before. Because like realistically she wouldn't be able to afford all of that, right? What does it say? Formal. Mm, just jeans. I think she wore these ones, yeah. And she wore them in this color. I mean, kind of. Hmm. Maybe we'll just do like the same, the same outfit. Yeah, let's just do the same outfit outfit she had before, because, huh? Where is the hoodie? Is it not under feminine? Is it just regular? Wait. Huh? I could have sworn the hoodie was there. Wait, now I can't find the hoodie. Am I going crazy? It's under tops, right? Or was that? Where was that? Yeah, there was a cropped hoodie, I thought, in high school years. Let's see. Packs high school years where is the crop tootie Ooh. that was high school years right I'm pretty sure yes okay Whew. I thought I was going crazy Okay, we're just gonna do the same look as before with her sneakers. Just because I don't think she would have that many outfits. Like, she can go and buy some later and that will be fun. But to start off with, because this is a rags to riches challenge, I don't think she would have so many outfits. Yeah. Hmm. Take out formal. And let's find her sneakers. Where are her sneakers? That was university, I think. Let's see. Shoot. Okay, here we go. And it was this watch? Yeah, this watch. And we'll just give her the same socks. There we go. Okay, athletic, um, same hoodie. <laughs> I think, yeah, she would only have like two outfits basically, right? Because she just like, she ran away from home and just like packed up a little bag. So I don't think she would have that much with her, so, hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna give her the same hoodie. Later on, when she, like, gets more money, we can buy her some more outfits, and that will be fun. But for now, it's just gonna be, yeah, pretty much the same outfits. For bottoms, I don't think jeans is a good idea, so maybe we'll give her, like, some leggings or something. Mm. 
like these. Even that's like a little too much, I think. It's like sweats or leggings. Hmm. Or maybe just like these pants. Wait, let's see. What kind of leggings? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> There's these biker shorts. But I don't know if she would be confident enough to pull these off. Hmm. Or, okay, wait, there's these leggings, but we can just put them in the black swatch. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and then her same sneakers. And the same socks. <laughs> Or which one were they? These ones in black. Okay. Okay, nighttime. Hmm. Maybe the same leggings. <laughs> Let's see, the same leggings in black. And then it will give her like a t-shirt maybe. Like maybe it's the t-shirt she's wearing underneath her cropped hoodie usually. And then we'll just put that for her uh, sleepwear, her pajamas. Okay, we can just give her like a big t-shirt. Maybe she wears like this chess one in gray, purple. Yeah. And then I wanna give her bunny slippers cause they're just cute. I'm sorry, we need the bunny slippers. <laughs> okay, and then party wear, party wear, hmm. Should I do like her second everyday outfit as her party wear too? Yeah, I think we'll do that. And then later on she can have more outfits, I think. But for now, we're gonna do where's full body? This one for her party wear. And then let's see. We did fishnets. There we go. And those shoes gotta go. <laughs> We're gonna do the same sneakers. So these ones, yeah. And then we're gonna give her hat, the bucket hat from the new pack in pink, yes. And then we're gonna give her a little bit of makeup again. Some eyeliner, this one. Yeah, and then we're gonna give her some blush. This one in like a darker pink, a little bit toned down. And some lip gloss in this pink toned down. Yes, there we go. Okay, swimwear. Hmm. <laughs> Swimwear, we'll just give her a basic one piece, I guess. I don't think she's really gonna be doing any swimming. There's like no pool at this high school, so it's not a big deal. Mm. Okay, there we go. We'll just do like a one piece, I think. I don't think there's any high school year swimwear, no. Okay, just like this or something in black. Okay, and then her hot weather wear, I think she's going to wear just like the t-shirt she had before, the one from the chess club, <laughs> for now. Uh, later on, we can get her another outfit. Oh gosh, this is bothering me. Okay, there, we fixed the lashes. <laughs> I don't think she would wear that hat too. Like maybe we can give her a baseball cap? Is there a cute one? I only have like a Von Dutch one. I don't think that matches her vibe right now. Well, there's like this one. Hmm, nah. I don't like how a lot of the baseball caps fit on the Sims heads. It's just like not the vibe. 
Okay, so let's do that t-shirt. I think it's the math one. Let's see. Or the chess one, yeah. And we'll put it in purple. And then we will give her some just shorts, I guess. These are from the new pack. Hmm. Wait, let's see from the new pack. High school years, there we go. Mm. They don't just have like jean shorts. Hmm. Okay, let's see. I'll find one from custom content, I think. Okay, let's see. There's these. Those are pretty short though. I think I'll have some longer ones. Oh yeah, maybe these ones. These ones. In like the same light blue. Or this blue is good, yeah. And then we'll just give her some flip flops, I think. These in black. Yeah, that works. This looks like me in high school. <laughs> okay. And then for cold weather, we'll do the same jeans, I think. Let's see, where are those jeans? Not cowboy boots. We'll do these jeans, the high-waisted ones. And then maybe like, so we have the hoodie. Is there like a better one? Hmm. Should we just do the same hoodie? And then just give her like a beanie? Yeah, maybe just like a beanie. Mm. Okay, she has this beanie. Maybe in gray. Yeah, I think that looks about right. <laughs> and then for shoes, we'll give her similar... Similar things. Let's see. Yeah, the same sneakers. These ones. Okay. Okay, I think we're ready. So this is her every day. This is her school look and this is her weekend look where she's a little bit more daring. This is her formal, <laughs> which she's gonna change if she goes to prom. Uh, athletic. This is her night wear, her party wear, her swim wear, summer wear, and her winter wear. There we go. Okay, now let's discuss traits. And as usual, I wrote some notes. <laughs> so first of all, let's do her name actually. So her name is going to be Emerson. I wanted to choose kind of like a gender neutral name. And I thought this was cute when I looked them up. And then her last name is going to be Merchant. And that's kind of like, you know, a call to rags to riches. So Emerson Merchant. And then I think we're going to go for she, her pronouns. Um, the thing about high school is I think it's all about like finding yourself or finding your identity. And I think a lot of people are kind of like, you know, learning about themselves or feeling a little bit lost. So I think I'm going to give her she, her pronouns, but we might change it later to they, them once she kind of finds herself or like you know, learns more about herself. And then I think there's a new, where is it? Personality. She, her. I thought it, there should be a way to choose. Oh, okay, yes. So we have gender here, her gender, physical frame, feminine, clothing preference, feminine. Sure. And then her sexual orientation, I'm going to say she's attracted to both. and But she's exploring romantically. Yeah. Okay. So yes, we have a bisexual queen here. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to... Let's see, do her traits. Okay, so the new traits, let's see, where is it? New traits. 
Okay, there's overachiever. These sims tend to raise their skills faster and are happy when they finish work tasks, but are a little harder to get along with as friends. Ooh, would she be an overachiever? Possibly. But I also wanted to make her socially awkward, which is here, I think. Yeah, socially awkward. Um, these sims tend to struggle in social situations and build charisma more slowly, but gain powerful moodlets and sentiments when they are able to overcome their awkwardness and accompanying nervousness to form close friendships. So I do think she is kind of an overachiever, but... See, the thing is, both of those traits are really bad for socializing. <laughs> and I've seen in other people's content. So I watched James Turner and Lil Simzy on YouTube. And both of them had socially awkward sims. It was really hard for them to make any friends. And I know that's like kind of realistic, but I know I was socially awkward in high school and I could still like make a few friends, like close friends who were also socially awkward. So I feel like it's kind of unrealistic for her to be like a total pariah, you know? So I kind of want to make her socially awkward. Yeah, and let's change you to the other outfit just to make it more realistic. And, um, hmm. I kind of want to just make her creative. Because she's going to be a fashionista, like secretly a fashionista. And she's going to like sell her stuff on Trendy. So maybe fashionista, uh, I mean creative. She could be a bookworm too. But I think I want to make her creative. Yeah, I think that makes sense. So she's going to be creative and socially awkward, I think. And then, okay, this is exciting. New aspirations. Teen. Yay! <laughs> There's live fast. This sim aims to get the most out of life by living carefree and rules-free. This is definitely not Emerson. And then there is admired icon. Uh, this sim wants to be a trendsetter, popular and influential, a true icon. Maybe. You know, like, if she finishes her aspiration, I might change it to this one later on. Because I really think that the whole concept of, like, high school should be you grow and change over time. Like, I feel like her freshman year is going to be very different from her senior year. So, maybe not this one now. Let's check the other ones. Drama Llama. This sim wants all the drama all the time. Definitely not Emerson. She wants to blend in. <laughs> she doesn't want drama at school. Okay. Goal-oriented. This sim wants to be the best. Grades? Check. Sports? Check. Money? Check. The road to success is being paved. Maybe this one. But I don't know if she would do sports. Yeah, we might change it, but I think this one. And then it says relatable. Relatable sims build friendly rela relationships with fellow teens faster. So hopefully this will kind of counteract with the socially awkward one. It's kind of cute that she's relatable and socially awkward. Because I feel like maybe those go together. Like, I am I think it's relatable that she's socially awkward. <laughs> okay, and then her likes and dislikes. I think she's secretly gonna like pink, but she also likes black and gray. And white. Yes. Okay. And then... Do I want to do anything else? I think she'll figure this out over time. So we don't have to do this now. Just the colors I wanted to do. <laughs> okay. So we have our sim here. Emerson Merchant. Our rag searches sim. I think she's super cute. And she is goal-oriented, relatable, socially awkward, and creative. There we go. And let's go through her outfits one more time in case you missed it. This is her school outfit, her weekend outfit, her formal outfit, until we change it. Um, athletic, sleep, party, 
swimwear, uh, hot weather wear, and cold weather wear. And like I said, like she will change all of these once she gets more money. But we're trying to be a little bit realistic in terms of like I don't think she would have a whole ton of clothes, right? So yeah, we'll just have this one outfit for now until she goes thrifting and buys some new ones. Okay. Oh my gosh, I think we're ready. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's super cute. But I don't think that's how she would be. Maybe like a more shy one. Let's see. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, I'll upload her to the gallery in case you guys want to go and find her. Um, my handle on origin, my origin tag is Jezza Plays. So J E Z Z A P L A Y S. So if you want to com come find her, you can um, go to my gamer tag and just download her. Um, she is also modded because I have a few CC pieces. So if you don't have them, you might have to change up a few things, but it shouldn't be too bad. Most of it's from the high school years pack. So yes, this is my teen rags to riches sim on my Twitch stream using the new high school ooh, high school years pack yay okay save okay you guys i was so excited to see the new world i literally have not seen it yet i've seen it only in other people's videos but i'm so excited okay so i think we're gonna start in fall because technically the school year would start in fall, right? I think in most places it starts in fall. At least in the US it does. So yeah, we're gonna do fall. And Copperdale! Oh my gosh! You know they were thinking about Riverdale when they made this town. Like, you know they were. Copperdale. <laughs> um, has, has anyone seen Riverdale? Like, I watched Riverdale... I think the first two seasons and then it just went like down <laughs> and not necessarily bad but it just went like I don't know to a direction I couldn't follow anymore <laughs> so yeah uh, we're gonna choose this empty lot here because she needs to have no money so yeah we're gonna buy this empty lot And then I'm gonna have to cheat her to have no money. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, wait, let me do the money cheat. Uh, testing cheats on. Okay, money zero. There we go, we have no money now. <laughs> Oh girl, what are we gonna do? Okay, wait, let me put away my notes. We gotta get serious for rags to riches. I have here a sports drink. It's a called Aquarius. It's a Japanese sports drink. Yeah, it's actually like really good for hydrating. If you live in a humid climate, I really recommend this one. Whew. Make sure you guys hydrate too. Okay, so she's starting as a high school C student. Let's look at her aspiration. Okay, so she needs to join an after school activity. Um, she needs to do homework five times and she needs to earn 500 simoleons. And let me see here. This is her new calendar. Okay, so it shows the school week. So basically she has four weeks of school. Um, ooh, and she has exams three times. Okay. Wait, that's her birthday? But then she has exams here. That doesn't make any sense. You know, I was thinking about putting this on long lifespan, but I heard that there's a glitch. I haven't experienced it yet because I didn't have any of my sims on long or short lifespan but i heard if you have your sims on short or long lifespan that other sims 
in the save will automatically age up. So you might have like elders that age up and die. <laughs> so I don't want to do that. So I'll keep it on normal lifespan until it gets fixed. But that means we're really going to have to hustle to like get money and have her survive. I'm a little bit nervous about it. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're going to have it like this. Um, okay, so the first thing I want her to do actually is to get a job because she needs money. So let me see. Business? Okay, find a job. Go ahead. Okay, so we have babysitter from 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. on Sunday, uh, Saturday and Sunday, I think. Huh, that could work. Barista, which is every day except the weekend, $28 an hour, but it's more often. Fast food employee, 5 to 9 p.m. Um, every day except Monday, Tuesday. That could be okay. Man oh, but she might have like after school activities that conf conflict with this. Hmm. There's manual labor. Retail employee. Oh, and there's these ones too. Simfluencer. Oh. Got a webcam, got a hint of personality. Be a simfluencer and big companies will stretch you out to help show their life's latest wares. So... Hmm. I think she can't do this one yet. This might be her job later. Because I think she needs like a computer and she needs money to get started with this. So we might change her job later to simfluencer. But for now, I'm going to have her join, I think, this might be a mistake, but I think I might do babysitter. Because she can work today, I think. Yeah, she can start working today. And then 12 a.m. Oh my gosh, she's going to be so tired on Monday. Oh. But I think this matches her personality. Like, I think she would be very caring and, like, she would be able to take care of kids well. But, like, in a barista role, since she's socially awkward, she would find it a little bit harder. Yeah. So I think babysitter. Okay, she started. And then I want her to join an after-school activity as well. Let's see. Is it also in business? join an after-school activity. Okay, so I'm actually gonna have her join the chess team. Because I haven't seen anyone do this yet, but I'm really curious. Okay, yeah, so she doesn't meet on the weekend. That wouldn't conflict with her current schedule. So she meets on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. That's not too bad. Okay, so she'll just like practice at school, I guess. Yeah, so she'll be a chess team member. What? Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, I think she needs to be a chess team member first, and then she can be a babysitter. Hold on. Um, 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 find a job. Okay, then babysitter? Wait, why can't she do both? Huh? Why no both? <laughs> Do they conflict with schedules? Wait, let me see. Sunday... Oh, no, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. 3.30 to 5.30. Huh? Maybe I need to choose a different job? Let me see. Let's see if another one will work. 
find a job. Oh my god. Are we having glitches already? <laughs> Um, okay, well, let's try barista. Oh, she could do barista. Okay. I don't know why she couldn't be a babysitter. Like, technically, the hours didn't overlap. But I don't know. Okay, one other thing I want to do is change her phone. I think this is a new feature. Yeah, we can choose, like, a bunch of different patterns and stuff. So she likes pink and purple. Let's see if she changes this. Oh. That's cute, like a little lavender phone case. And what else can she do? Change phone background color. Oh, adorable. <laughs> Silence phone. Okay, wait, I want her to get on social bunny. Open social bunny. New post. Post about joining a club. Um, let's do happy narrative. Ooh, okay, so she she posted on on um, her feed activities beware I'm gonna crush this or fumble my way through it either way I'm happy to be on the team oh that's cute okay well let's have her like meet some people since it's Sunday I'm gonna have her go to like the boba tea area near the pier I wonder if she can just walk Ooh, did not mean to do that I want her to like just walk there so let's see if she can just walk there Okay, not this way. Ooh, yeah, here. I don't know. Can she just walk here? I think she has to... Go like this. Where is she? Okay, I think she's walking there. Ooh, this is super cool. Whoa. Look at the ferris wheel. It's a shame it's so gloomy, but that's kind of like vibes. Realistic. Whoa. This world is super cool. And she lives pretty close to the pier actually. Okay, where is she? Um, why is she happy? Digital happiness from a social bunny post. Positive vibes from my social bunny followers. Oh, did she get any like notifications from her feet? No. Nothing. Okay. Because she doesn't know anybody, <laughs> technically. So I don't know why she would have any like posts. <laughs> I mean, like from other people. Okay, so we're gonna go to the stand. She doesn't need any food or drinks and that would honestly just be wasting her money but where is the boba tea shop because she needs to go there is it here i think it's all at the pier right let me see oh wait is the boba tea shop not here i thought it was is it on this side That's a ride. Huh? I could have sworn it was over here somewhere. Oh, maybe not. Wait, let me travel and see. Just to make sure. Oh, no. It's like on the other side of town. Okay. Well, she needs to be over here. Maybe I'll move her. Or no, she can just travel every time. Okay, so I'll make her go to the boba tea shop. What is it called? A uh, thrift tea. So it's a thrift store and a boba tea shop together. Make sure you hydrate. Okay, so she's at the boba tea shop. I'm gonna have her like introduce herself to the thrift store owner. So she's really excited because she doesn't have any money, but she's excited about the possibilities of this thrift store here. She wants to be fashionable, but like on a budget. So I think the thrift store is going to represent some good opportunities for her. And 
she's socially awkward, but she'll shyly introduce herself to um, the thrift store owner, Eloise. Maybe like a respectful introduction. I think that's what a socially awkward sim would do. <laughs> She's just dancing. Oh, look at that dude. He's so cool. Okay, can you introduce yourself? No? Okay, there we go. Oh, they're actually getting along. Cool. I think... What would she do? Friendly... Maybe she would talk about fashion trends with her, like just asking her about it a little bit. Oh, tense. Respectful rejection from talking trends. Fashion tips aren't given just to anybody. Oh, okay. Maybe Emerson should get to know the thrift shop owner better before asking for fashion advice. Oh, I feel like this would really hurt her. Like, for me, when I if I were in high school and I like re reached out to someone, because that's really hard for her to just reach out, right? And they rejected me. I would probably like not try for a while. Oh, this guy has two boba teas in his hand, double fisting. <laughs> Who are you, sir? That is funny. Can I have one? Can you put it down so I can have one? Ooh, was it taro? Taro milk bubble tea and strawberry matcha latte. Oh my god, that sounds so good. Hi Teddy, it's going well. We just started some gameplay and we're trying to go to the bubble tea shop to introduce ourselves to the thrift store owner and to take a look at the thrift store here because she wants to get on the trendy app later. But she has no starting money, so technically there's not much she can do here. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go here and just eat, check out the store right now. Who's working behind the counter? How's it going for you, Teddy? And I don't know if she would introduce herself to him, but maybe after that interaction with the thrift store owner, she would go to the bathroom and like work on her awkwardness a little bit, like kind of give herself a pep talk, a pep talk. Yeah, so go over there work on your awkwardness a little bit okay while she's doing that i'm gonna take a look at the townies mortimer goth what? Okay, anyways, Ash Harjo. Hi, I'm Ash, and welcome to Copperdale. I'd love to give you advice about the cool things to do around here, like hitting up Plum Bite Pier. Do you mind if I check over the next few days to see how you are settling in? Yeah, sounds good. I won't block this number. I think she would be really, like, excited that someone reached out to her. So yeah, I'll put that. Okay, so she's working on her awkwardness. I wonder if it's gonna have any like actual gameplay repercussions if she works on it. Oh, she acquired the charisma skill. Okay, Emerson's new skill in charisma will allow her to successfully joke more frequently and learn about other sims faster. More varied types of interactions unlock at higher levels. Okay, cool. Very nice. 
So I think like um, it, the more she gains charisma, the more she can work on her socially awkward trait. Oh girl. Oh my god, this is so awkward watching her. Oh my gosh, I hope no one comes in. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, Teddy. Um, it's going good just streaming, having some fun. Oh cool, what are you streaming? Any teens here? There doesn't seem to be any teens. Oh, is she choking on the boba? <gasps> Wait, let's steal one. I want the taro. Let's get it. Let's do the taro. Go get it. Yes, we got it. Very nice. Oh, she's choking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeffrey Landgrab is also having a taro tea. <laughs> Why does she look so tense? She's still tense about the rejection. That makes sense. Oh, but she's chatting with the owner now. Maybe after working on her awkwardness, she feels more confident about it? I don't know. I don't think she would chat with her, though. Nancy Landgrab? Nah. Oh, she's chatting with Eloise while drinking her stolen boba tea. <laughs> okay, why don't you steal this one? Mango milk. Let's go drink that one. I wonder if it gets her hunger up at all. Like, I feel like it should a little bit. When I have boba tea, like, it does increase, increase my hunger. Oh, okay, it does. A little bit. Not too much. Because I was going to say, I get full after having boba tea. Oh no, Jeffrey and Nancy are here. Okay, I don't think she would say anything. She would just like awkwardly sip on her boba tea. Are there any teens here? How about this guy? Oh, Mortimer again! <laughs> he went home and changed and put on a new outfit. I had no idea Mortimer was such a fashionista. Oh my god. Wait, I need a screenshot of this. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I had no idea he was such a fashionista. Thrift king. <laughs> okay. So Emerson is going to go and browse some fashion. And I kind of want to work on our relationship with the thrift store owner a little bit. Where is she? Upstairs, maybe? What's upstairs? Oh, she's dancing upstairs. That's cute. I think she might, like, go upstairs a little bit and then maybe she would discuss her social awkwardness. Where is it? Ask for social advice. So maybe after, like looking in the mirror she'll be like um so actually i'm a little bit awkward i'm sorry if my comments were a little bit too much for you um can we try this again i'm sorry <laughs> oh come on go talk to her let's see or, yeah, maybe she would express her nervousness around new sims. Like, I think I was just a little bit nervous. I didn't mean to talk about fashion trends directly without knowing you. Can we try this again? I think it's going well. Yeah, I think this is the best strategy to deal with her social awkwardness is just to be honest about it. So she has a new sentiment with Eloise. Let's see. I know they've got my back. Oh, Emerson is confident she does not have to feel nervous around Eloise. That is really sweet. Okay, so... Oh, Eloise is also a high school graduate. This is new. This whole section, I think, is kind of new. They have like... Oh, that's cool. So Eloise Hiddlesticks is a high school graduate and she's got our back. 
Nice. Okay, what else can we do? Maybe confess to being socially awkward. You know, like actually I'm a little bit socially awkward. I just moved here and I'm not really feeling confident. Oh, that went well. Yeah, I think that's the right way to do it. Okay, cool. Oh, what is the thumbs down though? <laughs> okay, so let's go to social bunny. And let's see, add to contact list. So she met a few people. Oh, when did she meet Malcolm and Molly? Okay, well, we can add them. Add Malcolm, add Molly, and add Eloise. And for Eloise, I think, let's see, can we message and remove? Okay, let's message Eloise a friendly message. There we go. Eloise, have you thought about taking up guitar? I think you'd crush it. Okay, <laughs> that's so random. <laughs> and then, is there a new post? Post about social awkwardness. Embarrassing narrative, maybe. I fumble around to find the right words, and by the time I do, it's too late. Social skills are not my strong suit. Oh, girl. <laughs> okay, so let's do that. I think maybe like if she messages online, she would be a little bit more confident um, versus in real life, like face to face communication. So maybe I'll have her try messaging someone else, like sending a DM. Let's send a DM to. Wait. Oh, wait, when did she have negative relationship with Savannah? Anyways, let's do Ma a Molly Prescott and let's do a friendly message. Okay, let's see. Open social bunny. Molly, what's up, buddy? Oh no, don't call her buddy already. <laughs> you don't know her that well. Okay, well, that is awkward. Congratulations. You are a pretty awkward girl. <laughs> um, is there anything she can like pick up in the park to... Hmm. I don't know if there's any collectibles here. That's the thing. She needs to make like at least a bit of money. She can go fishing, right? Let's see. Oh, no fishing allowed here. Shoot. Interesting. I've never seen the no fishing signs. Doesn't seem to be any collectibles. Oh, there are actually. Okay. Why don't you come get some collectibles? Are there any other ones? No. Is that literally the only collectible? How about up here? She can't go there. This is a beautiful world though, seriously. Can she walk on this path? Yeah, wow, that is beautiful. Okay, there's like a little grilling area here, good to know. Maybe some people will come over here and grill some stuff, we can steal it. Um, let's see, she can come collect this. Anything else? I think that's it. On this lot. There's only like two collectibles. Oh, there's one over here too. She can dig that one. It's kind of semi open world-ish. Not open world, like to go to the lots she has to load in obviously. But like each little area is kind of open world, if that makes any sense. Okay, so she's gonna go dig her collectible. And she's on her phone, typical. <laughs> okay, let's look at her sentiments. Confident, perfect post from a social bunny post. That post is going to get a ton of engagement. I'm certain of it. Okay, sure. Uh, bubble bunch from drinking bubble tea. 
Emerson loves being in the company of like-minded tapioca ball beverage enthusiasts. <laughs> okay, so she loves her some bubble tea. Decorated. And smooth sipping. Okay, so she's feeling confident right now. That's sweet. Okay, what does she want to do? She wants to meet fellow classmates. Okay, we can do that. And she wants to become inspired. I don't know if we can do that yet. Maybe later. Where is she? Wait. Oh, okay, she's here. She has to use the restroom. Okay, well, after you dig that thing up, we can do it. And then maybe I'll have you, like, play some games on your phone because you're pretty tense. So this is a new feature, like, them using their phones while they're walking. I think that's a new, like, teen feature. Because before they would, like, stop and use their phone and then go. Okay, so wait, what did she get before? Oh, what was that? Oh, a capsule. Ah, oh, sometimes it's not worth it to open it, depending on what's inside. She has two robot salvage parts and an obtainium. Okay, well, I think she's just gonna go ahead and sell these. Oh, 105 simoleons, let's go. <laughs> I don't think she can buy anything really with that, but you know. Anyways, let's have her go back to the boba tea place so she can use the restroom. And then I'm gonna have her... Oh wow, this world is really cool. So yeah, she's gonna... <laughs> Sorry. She's gonna go back to the boba tea place and she's gonna use the restroom and she's also gonna have a bit of fun. So yeah, go ahead, use the restroom here. Go ahead. I think she'll make it. Please make it. <laughs> yeah, she'll make it. She, she's got time. Totally. <laughs> oh, is that a teen? I want her to meet some teens. Oh, she dislikes S-pop music. No, because she's gonna be here all the time and I think they're gonna play S-pop music, so no. There you go. Oh, there's Ash Harjo. <gasps> It's like meeting a celebrity. Ash Harjo! Okay, let's do a, like... Uh, maybe a friendly introduction? Or respectful introduction? Maybe respectful. Because she sees her as like... Like a celebrity at her school, maybe. And actually, Ash called her earlier. So maybe she can go talk to her. Oh gosh, she's bowing. No. I feel like this is gonna be me when I go back to the US. I live in Japan now and like, yeah, you kind of do like a little bow like to say thank you or like when you meet people. Oy, I feel like I'm gonna be like that. <laughs> Any other teens here? They're like all adults. She's chatting with Ash right now. I think she's gonna be like, Hmm. Maybe ask her for social advice because she said like if you need anything I'm here, right? Wait, where's Ash? Where'd she go? Or oh, wait, no, Ash is Ash uses they them pronouns. I'm so sorry. Yeah, Ash is non-binary, so where did they go? I totally forgot about that. Oh, they're leaving. How about, who is this? What's her name again? Sophia Bjergsen. She's also a teen, that's cool. And then, okay, well Ash is leaving. Is that Mortimer Goth again? No, Kyoshi Ito. <gasps> Kyoshi Ito, wait. I kind of want her to do a respectful introduction to him because that would be so cute. They could be friends or something more depending on how they get along. I don't know. Okay, he's bowing back. Okay, I think that's good enough. Maybe she would just be like, 
express her nervousness like around new sims i get kind of nervous around new people but i noticed you were browsing these racks over here like are you interested in thrifting too it's kind of a vibe how his glasses match his like bracelets those are pretty cool is this another teen savannah price oh that's a new person too why don't you do Okay, maybe she wouldn't introduce herself to so many new people. Hmm. Oh, I think it's like a mom and daughter thing here. That's so cu cute. How they're browsing together. Adorable. Okay, so I'm gonna have her do something fun. Tell jokes, maybe not. Um, is there anything creative she can do here? How about upstairs? Maybe she can go over here and just, like, listen to music. I don't think she would dance, but she'll listen to it. And, like, sit here. And then listen. Wait. Can you not do both at the same time? Okay, now listen. Listen to Summer Strat. Okay, she's listening. Cool. Oh, she likes it. Yeah, because she's um, inspired. She's a creative sim, so she likes listening to music, dancing, all that like artistic stuff, I think. Oh, deep conversation. I hope that's not too soon. So I just wanted to be honest with you. Actually, I live alone because I don't have a great relationship with my parents. Do you think you could keep it secret? And Eloise said, yes, just let me know any time you need to stay here. So I think Eloise is going to be like um, her new friend. Maybe she'll dance with her a little bit. OK, well, she went downstairs. Oh, is she dancing? I think she would be fine dancing if she was alone. Like as soon as someone came in, she would just like stop and just like listen to the music because <laughs> she is an awkward sim so yeah she's just gonna be dancing here <laughs> it sounds like uh, okay i won't say the song in case i get a copyright strike but <laughs> it's so funny make sure to hydrate if you're watching Oh yeah, so she's having fun dancing and listening to music. And then, oh, she's getting hungry. Maybe she can go steal something. Like, once her fun goes up a little bit more. Oh, why don't you talk to her? Invite her to dance. Maybe she's comfortable with Eloise. And then maybe ask for social advice. So she's like, so I'm starting my first day of school tomorrow. Do you have any advice about how to make friends? She's like, um, you know, just be yourself. Just be confident. Like this. <laughs> like this. <laughs> oh, well, she's having like social and fun at the same time. This is good. So I just want her to be friends with Eloise because I think like also downstairs there's a sofa. And I feel like Eloise would let her stay the night on the sofa, like indoors. She would be like, you know, if you need to sleep on the sofa anytime, just come here. I'll be here for you. Don't sleep outside on the bench. Oh, yeah, wait. OK, wait. let me like tell you about the challenge a little bit more. Because some people might not know the rags to riches rules, and I'm not doing it like to the T. So hold on, I have I have literal notes. <laughs> my notes. Okay, so my requirements are to have a home worth at least a hundred thousand simoleons, and have at least two hundred thousand simoleons in the bank, and then she also needs to complete her aspiration. 
So yeah, that's quite a lot to work up to considering she has 105 simoleons now. She has no house, no bed, pretty much nothing. And she has to go to school and she has to go to chess practice. So it's gonna be quite a lot, but we're gonna do our best. Okay, so it's getting late. It's like 1113, so I'm gonna have her go downstairs. First of all, she hasn't done her homework yet. So I'm gonna have her do her homework. Maybe sit here and do her homework. So she'll do her homework before bed and then she's gonna sleep on the couch. It might be a little bit embarrassing for her just because like everybody's still in here. Like when is the store closed? They should have the store closed at some point. It's just like a 24 hour boba tea shop. That's pretty crazy. Who's this? Oh, Sydney Price. I don't notice them like when they're in other clothes from the pack, but yeah, Sydney is also a teen. Maybe, like, another respectful introduction? Oh, by the way, Teddy, glad to hear that streaming is going good so far. I don't know if I replied to that, sorry. <laughs> okay, so she's doing her homework. She can take this taro tea too, I think. So she's chatting with Sydney. Like maybe he just sat down and he was like, Hey, uh, do you go to Copperdale High too? And she's like, oh, yeah, I'm starting tomorrow. <laughs> Awkwardly on her phone. <laughs> That's a vibe. <laughs> oh, they're actually getting along. I did not expect that. Okay, but stop talking because I want you to to do your homework. Yeah, you need to finish your homework. Oh, no, 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 no. Is it stinky? Don't. No, it's spoiled. Don't drink it. Don't drink it. Don't drink it. No, 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 no. Don't drink it. Okay, good. Phew. Is this spoiled? No, it's normal. Drink this one. Drink this one. That scared me. Oh, it's okay. Thank you, Teddy. <laughs> oh, did she get a social bunny post? Open social bunny. Oh, that's so cute. She's getting interactions. She got like a happy face, a lovey face, and oh, angry face. Hmm. Oh, Molly, talk to us. Emerson, have you thought about taking up guitar? I think you'd crush it. That's really sweet. Should she add more people? Oh, okay. So she has Kyoshi. Let's add Sydney, Ash, and Lucha. Ah, Lucha Harjo is Ash's father, I think. Okay. Well, I think she would... Who is she closest to? Maybe Ash? She would add maybe like a funny message like I ordered a chicken and egg online. I'll let you know which one comes first. <gasps> oh no, Emerson! That's so cheesy! <laughs> Girl! Okay, whatever. <laughs> um, okay, can she make a new post? No, she doesn't have any new events. Oh, what are you doing? Do your homework. Can she not do it? At least put it away. Oh, Gemma Charm is a teen. Maybe respectful introduction. Luna is also... It's weird, like she's socially awkward, but she's kind of... She still introduces herself to people, which is kind of cute. Oh, she got food. 
Wait, is this one spoiled? Veggie sliders. Can you go steal that? Go steal it. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, she stole it. <laughs> and she's talking to her. She's like, hey, you gonna finish that? Swipe? <laughs> oh my god. That is so awkward. But yeah, finish that. Oh my god, she has school in the morning. You need to sleep. Can you sleep here? Take a nap. Okay, she's gonna take a nap even though everyone's here. Just keep taking a nap until morning. She's gonna be so tired in the morning. I hope she doesn't pass out at school. Seriously. Oh, her schedule says... Oh, okay, so cheerleading, uh, night on the town, high school exams. Wow, okay, a lot's going on this week. So she's napping here. There's less people than before, which is good. Oh, Yuki Bear is a teen as well. I didn't realize that. She looks cool. Okay, well, she's gonna be sleeping. Let's fast forward. What else is going on in the store? Oh my god, just like all the boba teas on the floor. That is nasty. At least she can steal some. <laughs> oh! Streamlabs. Oh yeah, it's the all caps. Oh, it's okay. Hi, Angry Coconuts. What was- what were you gonna say? Sorry about that. <laughs> Wait, what is she doing? Is she going home? Oh, she has to go to work. Shoot. I totally forgot about that. Is she not going to work? Go to work. Work in 23 hours. Wait, is this a bug? School for Emerson starts in an hour. Maybe she went to work. What? Okay. Did she not go to work? Okay, I wanted her to nap before work. That's weird. Just Wagwan in all caps. How you been? I've been pretty good. I'm playing the new um, Sims 4 High School Years pack. It's a pack that was just released and I'm really excited about it. So I can replay all the awkwardness of high school <laughs> in The Sims. How about you? How have you been? Okay, what do I want her to do? Are there any collectibles here? She can go fishing. Maybe before school, she'll just go fishing. School starts at... in 54 minutes. Okay. Yeah, just, I don't know, go fishing or something. Oh no, you need to finish your homework. I completely forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, she's sitting cross-legged. That's cool. Have you not... Ha aren't you a teacher? Have you not had enough of school, Lamo? <laughs> yes, but I was never a high school teacher, so it's okay. <laughs> um, I'm just playing World of Warcraft. Oh, cool. Wow. <laughs> How is it going? How is World of Warcraft going? Okay, girl, you need to finish your homework quickly. Can you do it? Okay, well, you're gonna join her. I hope she brought her homework with her. She better have brought it with her. I'm kind of forcing my sim to be an overachiever. Not only does she have zero money, but also she needs to get an A in school and she's gonna be part of the chess club and she's doing a part-time job. So, <laughs> poor girl, honestly. It's a lot. <laughs> Did she bring her homework? Okay, good. Finish your homework quickly before class. Oh, 
Oh, it takes her like forever to walk anywhere. Where is she? Oh, she's in the principal's office. So maybe she can introduce herself after she finishes. Finish your homework, girl. Okay, she finished. Let's see, May. Let's do respectful introduction, I think. And then maybe we can run to the bathroom before school. This one. Okay, just run to the bathroom. You have class soon. And she also needs to get a locker, but maybe we can do that at lunchtime. So yeah, this is the new school. It's pretty cool, right? It's way too big though. I feel like there's a lot of empty space and it's gonna be hard to like navigate. I might download a different s school. I don't think I can build a school myself, but I might download one. Oh, she can prank the whiteboard, cool. <laughs> but yeah, I think I might have her download, or I might download a different high school that's smaller just because it's kind of hard. Wow, that makes zero sense. She's gonna go wash her hands in a different restroom. You need to get to class, girl. Order food, no, don't order food, just go to class. 19 minutes, can you make it? Look at everyone filing in. Oh, that girl is so cool. <laughs> okay, so she's front. Okay, if it were me, oh no, she's stinky. I feel so embarrassed for her. But um, yeah, this is her teacher, Rita Combs, class one teacher. She is taking notes in class. Okay, good, good. Can she? Oh, we'll just be here. Okay. So she's teaching class. Oh, it's math class. Oh, they have like equations and stuff. That's cool. Who's in her class? Oh, she has a negative relationship with Savannah Price. There's Wolfgang Munch. There's Morgan Fires. Naomi Sakamoto. And Malcolm Landgrab are in her class. Okay, cool. None of her friends that she met before. Malcolm, she's like, kind of knows. But he's like a mean sim, so I don't think she would be friends with him. Who knows? But I don't think so. And she has negative relationship with Savannah, so that's unfortunate. So yeah, she's uh, she has 18 minutes left of class. And then after that, oh, acquired the logic school. Cool. She'll need that for chess. So after that, um, I think it's going to be lunch. But let me see here. Okay, so she does have chess team today in five hours. So she'll need to work on that as well. Okay, lunchtime. She's hungry, so. And she might need to take a nap as well. I don't know if we can do all of that, but um, yeah, let's see, lunch. This is the lunch lady, the cafeteria here. This brings me back, although this is a lot smaller compared to like cafeterias I was used to. Did anyone else like buy cafeteria food in high school? I, I actually didn't. I mostly like brought my lunch to school and then maybe it's like being in California but like most of the campus was outdoors. It actually wasn't like the Hollywood style high school, like all indoors. I've never experienced that before. Everything was pretty much outdoors. We even ate lunch outdoors. Sometimes it rained and then we just like went inside to the cafeteria, but that was pretty rare. Um, so yeah, anyways, we're gonna order food and She's gonna get the cheapest one. <laughs> or tortilla wrapped hot dog. Go for it. Oop. Okay. So go, she's like racing to, <laughs> racing to the cafeteria. Oh, Ash is calling. 
Hi, just me again. Now that you're settled in, have you joined any after school activities? There's a bunch of them, like cheerleading and football, depending on what you are into. Also, you might want to check out Plum Bike Cove. There are fun rides on the pier, and it's a cool place to hang out. Great advice. Talk to you later. Okay, she already joined chess club, so she's like a step ahead of Ash. Oh no, the uh, the um, lunch lady was like, you're kind of, you need to take a shower. And she's like, oh yeah, I do. That is so embarrassing. Her first day of school and she's stinky. Girl. Oh, this is so sad. She's going to the classroom to eat. I don't think I've ever done that. In less like elementary school, but in high school, I don't think I ever did that. But I know a lot of people who did, who are just like really friendly with the teachers. Let's check Social Bunny. Hey, I heard you became friends with Eloise Hiddle Six. She's pretty cool. Okay, that's cool. Let's open Social Bunny. Oh, okay. Sydney says lunch is a great time to make some friends. Who wants to be besties? I think she would just be like happy. Yeah. A llama and a gnome walk into a bar. Wait, Emerson, how did it go again? Aw, I think she would just laugh. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> okay, and these are just her posts. Can she make a post? Oh, she has a lot. Okay, post about orientation. I think she would do like a stressed narrative. I think she would be stressed about school. Did anyone do the summer reading or first day assignments? Did we even have any? I already feel so behind. Oh, well that checks out because she was doing homework in the principal's office right before class. Oi. Post about lunch. Okay. Let's do a friendly message maybe about lunch. Lunch is a great time to make some friends. Who wants to be besties? Oh, that is so awkward. Oh no. But Sydney said the same thing, right? So she just copied his post. Oh, awkwardness. <laughs> okay, new post about homework. Uh, stress narrative. This homework is worth 0.004% of my grade for the year. I can't relax not knowing what my grade will be. <laughs> I guess that checks out too, since she's really goal-oriented. New post about being back from work. Um, I think also stressed. All I do is wake up and go to work. When do I get to live life? Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Okay, and then I think she's gonna message Eloise while she's at lunch and just be like a funny message. Like, huh, I'm eating lunch in the classroom. This is so awkward. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> So she said, hey, Eloise, I invented a new word, plagiarism. Oh, I get it. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Does anyone else get that? <laughs> okay. So she's just eating. Oh, Cassandra's here too. So maybe she would say hi to Cassandra. That's kind of sad. Cassandra's also in the classroom. She's not even eating. Just like chilling. I feel like she might be friends with her. Oh, Malcolm too. That is kind of surprising. He has a senior lunch. So she's saying hi to Cassandra. I think she would also, let's see, friendly, ask for her social advice. Maybe just like express her nervousness. Yeah, she's like, I feel kind of nervous around new Sims. So I came to the classroom. How about you? Cassandra took that positively. She's like, yeah, I can relate to that. It's hard to meet new people. And she's gonna ask her for social advice. Okay, cool. Um, she might also like, can she go in here? Can she make coffee? <laughs> it costs money. Maybe she can nap. Can she nap there? 
So she's gonna like secretly go to the. Oh, she can't go in. I think that's the staff area. Can she nap here? That's kind of embarrassing, but she's gonna take a nap right outside the principal's office before um, before lunch ends. She needs to take a quick nap. And then after class, she can take a shower in the gym lockers. <sighs> the hustle life. Okay, I need you to wake up. Go to class. <sighs> Did anyone else do this like during lunchtime? Did you ever take a nap because you were just so tired? I know like I sometimes kind of like nodded off in class if I wasn't sitting in front. But I don't know if I ever like actually took a nap during lunch. Hmm. That's like a different level. Okay, so she's back in the same class, same students, but they're all kind of sitting in different places now. Hmm. Malcolm's like way in the back. So she's attending science class right now. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Taking a nap during lunch. For me, yeah. Oh, Teddy, thanks for the raid. <laughs> That's my first ever raid. That's super cool. <laughs> yeah, I I was totally the one who like, oh wait, what is she doing? She's taking a shower in the middle of class. No, you need to like go back to class. What the heck, girl? <laughs> Attend class. I hope her performance doesn't go down. I know you're like really grungy, but you need to go and just attend your class. <laughs> you're welcome, you deserve it. Thank you, I appreciate it, that's so sweet. So yeah, she's attending class now. Fourteen minutes left, just take notes. Oh, she's interesting, she's sitting in the back now with Malcolm. Okay, so just finish up your class and then what's next? Oh, okay, so she did okay. I think she got like a silver performance. Um, so Emerson turned in some good work and took some good notes today. So she did okay. Not the best, but she did pretty good. What does she want to do? Become inspired, confess to being socially awkward, and chat with other students. Uh, I think we can do both. Oh, she can't pin this one? Well, I think she's gonna go talk to Malcolm and just like, let's confess to being awkward. Let's see. Confess... Ooh. Oh. Maybe express nervousness first? Like, she'll express her nervousness around new sins, and then maybe she'll... Maybe she already confessed to being socially awkward. Oh, he did not like that. Okay, stop chatting with Malcolm. <laughs> maybe her and Malcolm cannot be besties. So we're just gonna go downstairs and take a shower in the locker room, I think. Oh, there's computers here. Awesome. Okay, just go over here and take a shower. Or actually, I'll have her take a thoughtful shower because she needs to get inspired. So go ahead, take your shower. She's super grungy. Okay, there we go. So let's speed through this. And then, oh, she has her school activity. Shoot, what time was it? 3.30? She is super late. Okay, you took enough of a shower. Just go to, to your activity. Go, go, go. I hope she doesn't pass out before she gets there. Go to your activity. Boy. <laughs> Okay, so now she's off to her chess team activity. Oh, where is she? 
Is this a bug or something? Like, if she goes from school, she can't get there? Apparently, she was at her activity, but it didn't show it. That's weird. Okay. Well, what can she do? She's really tired and she needs fun. Hmm. Well, let's check Social Bunny first. Priorities. <laughs> so she's going to open Social Bunny. Let's see. Messages. Hmm? Wait, who said this? Um... I don't- oh, okay. So wait, wait, wait. Eloise reacted, like, happily to this one. That's cute. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, what can she post about? Post about social awkwardness. Embarrassing narrative. Okay. Yeah, so the same thing. I fumble around to find the right words, and by the time I do, it's too late. Social skills are not my strong suit. Oh. Okay, new post about chess practice. Um, maybe she'll just do like a happy narrative. She's happy about chess. Let's see. I pawned my pawn for another practice session like that. I can really feel a sense of improvement. Cool. Can she add anybody else to her contact list? Let's see. Oh, Cassandra. Luna. Gemma Charm. And May Prescott, the principal. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want the principal on my social media, but Emerson, go ahead. She's kind of a teacher's pet, I guess. Or she wants to be. Okay, so who should she message? Maybe Cassandra, because I think she had like kind of like positive interactions with Cassandra. So maybe like a little friendly message. Oh, your style is everything. Teach me your ways. Okay. That's cool. Cute. Okay. So, let's go to the boba tea shop. Because... Wait. Yeah, let's go to the boba tea shop. Because she can have fun there. And she can get some food. And she can nap. So I think the boba tea shop is a good thing. And I think El Eloise would want to know how her first day of school went. Maybe she texted her. Oh, okay, she got another notification. Dang, these notifications. <laughs> Let's see, messages. Oh, it doesn't seem like there's anything new. Okay. Well... Um, I think I'm going to have her just nap on the couch first. She'll be super tired. I don't want her to pass out. So she can just nap over here. And then when she wakes up, she's going to talk to the owner. Yep. Maybe just until like 7, she can sleep. This is not doing great for her energy. Or I'll just let her finish napping here. Watch fashion routine. Oh, are they posing? That's really cute. They're doing like a little fashion show here. Who is this? Janae Price, fashion show contestant. That's awesome, actually. That's super cute. I like that outfit. Aside from the tights, but it's like, it's a daring outfit. It's kind of cool. Whoa, look at that outfit. Sophia Bergson. She's like wearing a swimsuit over leggings. I mean, that's a choice. That is a choice. For sure. <laughs> well, when she wakes up from her nap, I'm gonna have her... Let's see... Maybe introduce herself. Respectful introduction to Sophia. Oh, Mortimer goth, wait. Okay, I have to pause. Mortimer is doing a fashion show. <laughs> what? I had no idea he was this into fashion. I've seen him like three times in this place. 
Just like in some fits. <laughs> okay, sorry, I just had to do that. And is that the principal? Wait a second, wait a second. Is that the principal? Yes, May Prescott. Okay, okay, I didn't know you were so fresh. <laughs> That's kind of cool. This is a trip. <laughs> Okay, she's watching the fashion routine. And she introduced herself, so... Okay, she's watching the fashion routine now. Does that give her fun? Doesn't seem to be fun for her. Okay, why don't you go upstairs and listen to some music? And maybe dance? Everyone's leaving, so you can dance comfortably. Or wind down with classical? Is that fun? Or just makes her less stressed, maybe? Oop. She was gonna steal some food. Sure. Go steal some food. I support this action. Oh! I thought you were gonna steal it. You can steal these. Steal some veggie sliders. And then go upstairs and listen to music. <laughs> Wait, okay. And then, yeah, wind down with classical. There you go. Okay, she's eating her veggie sliders. And now she's going upstairs. Oh, no, just stay here. Listen to music. Listen to classical. Listening to classical music while eating. That is a vibe. <laughs> Stealing food. I see you're, you're going to sim jail. <laughs> yes. Shh. It's okay. It's not stealing if they left it. She's just eating leftovers, okay? It's not stealing. Technically. Oh, that's really cute. She gave her a hug. I think like Eloise is kind of going to be her like surrogate mom or like her like older sister here. She's going to check in on her every so often and like see how her first day of school was. So I think she's going to like talk about her post maybe. Yeah. Is she still eating? Classical music does not seem to be very fun for her. Did she finish eating? Let's see. Not yet. Dude, there's like no time to do everything she needs in a day and to have fun and to relax. This is too realistic for me. <laughs> Way too realistic. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, are you lurking, Teddy? <laughs> That's fine, totally fine. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I think she's gonna talk about her post and maybe what else she can do. Let's ask her about fashion trends, finally. Does she have to go downstairs? Okay, no, she's fine. Oh, can she talk about it now? I hope so. Let's see. Boho trend is steering pretty neutral. Not much potential even for a fashionista like you. Oh, that's really sweet that you called her a fashionista. But I don't know if, if you could call her one right now. <laughs> but I think she's going to, let's see, sympathize maybe? or ask for social advice. She's like, well, today I ate lunch in the classroom and I felt really awkward. Can you give me some advice? And she's like, oh, well, you're a star, Emerson. You just be confident. Oh no, passes out. That is embarrassing. <laughs> Okay, well, when she wakes up, she can go use the restroom and take a nap on the couch. 
use and take a nap. There is not enough time in the day to do everything. Oh my god. She is literally just surviving right now. I might have her like play chess at school for fun because that is one way to like get fun and also do her school activity. So I might have her do that at a at another point, maybe tomorrow. When she doesn't have chess practice, I'll just have her practice at at um school. So let's see. When does she have chess? 15 hours. Okay, so she has it tomorrow too. So maybe on Wednesday we'll have her just work on her chest. Oh, that outfit, girl. That's Luna Villarreal. That is an interesting outfit. A bikini on top of leggings with some flats, glasses, and an interesting hat. That is a very interesting outfit. I love how you matched your socks and your flats with your beanie, though. That's kind of a vibe. It's like really avant-garde <laughs> this sim looks pretty cool too i think this is one of her classmates so maybe i'll have her like introduce herself at another time oh eloise is talking to her like hey how was school You're like, yeah it was pretty good have you met um emerson she's over there on the sofa sleeping you guys should talk sometime she's like uh, yeah sure i will <laughs> Oh, Sydney's here. Sydney's pretty cool. I like Sydney's fashion. Oh, she's also a teen. Um, oh god, I hate how Sims like heads just turn on their own when you pause. But yeah, she's also a teen. Kaori Nishidake. She's from the Snowy Skate Pack from Mount Komorebi. Yeah, it's interesting to see all of their looks. Who's this? Also a teen, Jeb Harris. Oh, he's from the Eco Lifestyle. Well, there's like a bunch of teens right now. Cool. Well, she's gonna nap until the morning, I think. Until she has work. What time is her work? Her work is at three hours. Okay, shoot, 5 a.m. She is struggling big time. She needs to get a bed soon. I think that's going to be her first purchase. Like, she just needs to get a bed. This is brutal. Work for Emerson starts in about an hour. Oh no. Okay, well, I'm going to have her go home because I want to see her actually go to work. Like, for some reason, when you're on a different lot, there's a bug that when you go to work, it doesn't really show up. So I'm going to have her just go home now. Home. The empty lot. <laughs> but yeah, I hope it works this time. Why don't you just play some games until you go to work? Or no, let's look at Social Bunny. Oh, Gemma says, in my hands, a pillow must be classified as a dangerous object. Pillow fighter. Oh, Gemma seems popular at school. Cool. Let's do like a happy laughing one. Pillow fights are supposed to be stress relief. So how come I feel so on edge? Oh, did they have a pillow fight? I don't know. <laughs> or maybe Molly and May did since May is Molly's mother. A pillow smack to my soul. It will take days to crawl out of this hole of sadness. Oh, everyone is just having a pillow fight, apparently. I went a little too hard. It was supposed to be just a friendly pillow fight. <laughs> okay. Messages. Oh, Malcolm messaged her. A skeleton walks into Thrifty and orders a boba tea and a mop. A boba tea and... Oh, because it goes through your body. I get it. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. And Cassandra says, okay, well, she'll, she'll laugh at this. And then Cassandra says, Emerson, we've been trying to reach you about your refrigerator's extended warranty. Maybe she'll laugh at that too. <laughs> and then maybe she can message them back. So Cassandra, 
friendly message. And then Malcolm also, maybe a funny message. Let's see. Emerson, your style is everything. Teach me your ways. So I think, oh my god. So that's for Cassandra. And then look at this embarrassing one, Emerson. A skeleton walks into Thrifty and orders a boba tea and a mop. So she just told him the same joke. That is so embarrassing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, she has nothing to post about, so... I'll just have her... What is she doing? Changing phone color. I did not ask her to do that. Maybe she can do like this one. That's cool. And then she can play some games. Entertainment. Play game. You can play some games before work. Hope that's fun. Okay, she should be going to work now. There you go. Okay, wait, slow down. Work hard. Okay, yeah, work hard. Get promoted. End of day cleaning. Emerson is just about to hang up her spiffy, sp uh, spiffy white apron when her manager nods toward the sink. There's an old steel carafe that's been rotting there since the dark ages. Inside, burnt moldy coffee laps gray, gluey froth. Cleaning it will take forever and be unspeakably gross. Tossing it out, however. Uh, I don't think she should throw it out without asking her, ma her manager, though. Maybe she should scrub it clean. Okay, performance gain small. Emerson scrubs and scrapes, hands pruning in water so tepid the bacteria must consider it a pool party. After 60 stomach-turning minutes, she finally sees her own green face shining forth from the craft. Her manager would be very impressed if he hadn't left a while back. Oh no! So she must be super tired and tense today. But at least she had performance gain. And she has um, class in an hour. Let's try to get our homework done. I know you're super tired, but just try. Just try, girl. Is she too tense? Yeah, she's too tense. Shoot. Jog to clear mind. Yeah, maybe go jogging a little bit. Oh, she's like on her phone while jogging. That's interesting. What? Why is she going through the water? Okay. She dislikes fitness. You know what? That kind of checks out. Sure. Go for it. Okay, she wouldn't be in this outfit at school. Because remember, her backstory is that she wants to blend in at school, but she's secretly interested in fashion. So like, she sometimes wears these outfits on the weekend. But she wouldn't wear them to school. So like, let's change outfit to this one. Is it cold today? Okay, join. Hurry, change your outfit. <laughs> oh no, she didn't do her homework, but maybe she can do it at school. I wonder if any of you guys did that before. Like, have you ever done your homework at school before class? Oh, wait, she's in a uniform today. Is it because of exams? Maybe. Oh, okay, maybe it's like uniform day. Well, that's fine. She can wear her uniform. Oh, she has to study for exams. Let's see. She hasn't done her homework yet. Yeah, she needs to get a skill to level two. And she needs to do her exams. Shoot. Okay, well... What can she do before class? She really just needs to take a nap, I think. I don't think she has time to study, unfortunately. You just need to take a nap. She is not doing well right now. Okay, let's see. Ash says, the person who invented autocorrect died today. Restaurant, restaurant in peace. <laughs> let's laugh at that. 
Oh, Teddy, you've done your homework in school before when you forgot to do it. Yeah, I've definitely, there's been times where I've like literally done it in the classroom before the teacher arrives, like just trying to like finish it quickly. I'm like, I'm a pretty bad procrastinator, unfortunately. Um, it's gotten better, but I was a super bad procrastinator in high school. Like, I would pay attention in class, and I would listen to the teacher, but I, for some reason, just could not do the homework. Okay, so can she do a new post? Post about a new outfit. Maybe her uniform? Maybe embarrassing. She's embarrassed to wear it. Um, let's see. Tried something new and I'm regretting it now. Does this outfit look like I just face planted into a pile of clothes? Maybe. <laughs> Let's see, friends. Let's add to contact list. Okay, sorry. Hold on, let me silence this. Yep, that's me. Yeah, that's me too. Let's add Sophia and let's see. Yuki Bear. Okay, we're good. And I think she's gonna like do a quick text to Eloise, a friendly message. There we go. Your style is everything, teach me your ways. Yes. Okay, so let's just have her nap before class because she's in a bad state right now. You need to nap, girl, just nap. It's okay, everything's fine. I don't know if she has enough time to study before class. I think she just needs to take a nap, get her energy up, and then maybe she can do something fun and eat something later during lunchtime. Order food? No, just take a nap. Oh, her energy is barely going up. Okay, go, go to class, go to class. Oh, she's late. Shoot. So everyone's wearing their uniform today. Who's in her class? Are they the same people? They're different for social studies class. Huh, interesting. So she has, let's see, who is this? Wolfgang Munch. Kevin Purry. I don't know who that is. I think that's a new student. Yeah, cool. Um, she has Morgan Fires again and savannah price who she has kind of a negative relationship with and also kentaro goto oh i think kentaro is in the chess club so is morgan we should say hi to them later oh wolfgang as well that's interesting maybe because they have chess club practice later they're all wearing their stuff but she's not <laughs> i don't know maybe she would be embarrassed about it i have no idea Okay, Ash is calling at lunch. Have you been to Thrifty in Prescott Square yet? It's a great place for checking out the latest fashions on a budget, and they have a boba tea counter. Check out Trendy on your phone. You can pick up some clothes from Thrifty, make a cool outfit, and resell it on Trendy. It's not a bad side hustle. Thanks for all the great advice. Cool. Let's actually, like, message Ash, I think. Open social bunny. Oh, did she get a message? Kyoshi! <gasps> Wait, <laughs> I don't know why. I just kind of have a crush on, on Kyoshi a little bit. I think it's because I watch, like, <laughs> Kelsey and Peach K. Kel Kelsey and Peach K. God, I feel like I, I totally butchered her name. But yeah, I watch her on YouTube, and, like, she's totally into Kyoshi, and that kind of influenced me. I don't think she would... She would play it cool, though. I think she would just be, like, um like friendly hey okay let's let's message kyoshi like friendly message maybe what would she say kyoshi we should get together and hang out sometime oh that's pretty forward um what new post should she do post about being back from work stressed um a post about travel maybe stressed <laughs> And post about lunch, which is 
maybe happy because she's she really wants to have lunch. <laughs> Me in school being sleepy, right? <laughs> Just like totally negative energy. The sim is way too relatable. <laughs> Okay, so lunch is truly the best part of the day. You know what? I have to agree. I definitely felt that way when I was in high school. Okay, so she's at lunch. Let's get her some food because she's actually hungry. And then I'll have her take a nap. So let's get her something cheap. But I want her to try something new. So maybe something meatball tamale bites. Okay, let's try that. Go get you some lunch and then sit here she's gonna try sitting in the cafeteria today oh wait get your lunch first <gasps> did someone steal her lunch no okay well why don't you get someone else's lunch then okay I can't believe someone just stole her lunch. That is very offensive. Okay, well, she's sitting with this guy. Oh, he's on the chess club. Noah Kane. Let's do a respectful introduction. Because they're both in chess club. Oh, he likes fitness. Can't relate. <laughs> Friendly. Let's see. Can she talk about being- oh, let's express nervousness around new sims. Oh, I think Morgan is also part of the chess club, so let's talk to Morgan. Respectful introduction. Oh, he just left. She like talked about being socially awkward and he just left. That is so embarrassing. Okay, let's- Oh, is she leaving too? Convinced to join team. What does that mean? I thought she was part of the chess team. Maybe not. Okay, why don't you eat this too? Oh, she's very sad. Why? Time to wear black from having a mood swing. Uh, sad because I'm sad. You wouldn't understand. Nobody would understand. Oh, Exhausted. Needs amusement. Stress emoji. How do I communicate this stress within a character limit? Oh no, she's just having a terrible time right now. Oh, is, is he... is Sydney on the team too? Let's get some advice, maybe, from him. Oh, she has class already? Okay, stop eating. Just go to class. I feel like she's not doing well in school right now. Maybe her f Oh, she's crying. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Me. Too relatable. Can she look at Social Bunny in school? Let's see. Oh, she can. <laughs> uh, Cassandra says, that pillow, pillow fight was euphoric. I feel like I'm glowing. Okay. Um, let's see, messages. Oh. The principal messaged us. Emerson, we've been trying to reach you about your refrigerator's extended warranty. Okay, let's just uh, ha, 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 laugh maybe awkwardly. Luna, I ordered a chicken and egg online. I'll let you know which one comes first. <laughs> we can laugh at that too. And Gemma says, Emerson, we've been trying to reach you about your refrigerator's extended warranty. We have like all the same messages. Just laugh. Let's message. New message to... Maybe she won't respond to the principal. <laughs> but maybe to Luna, she'll do another funny message. Hey Luna, I invented a new word, plagiarism. Okay, and Gemma too, we'll do a funny message. The person who invented autocorrect died today. Restaurant in peace. <laughs> oh god, so awkward. New post, post about social awkwardness. Embarrassing narrative. I fumble around to find the right words and by the time I do, it's too late. Social skills are not my strong suit. 
Relatable. <laughs> okay, so she's attending class now. And she just posted on Social Bunny in class. <laughs> That's a vibe. Oh, okay. Chess for Emerson starts in about an hour. Oh god, she, f she fainted in class. That's terrible. Careers. Careers? What's that? Okay, well she finished. She got silver today. When she wakes up, she can go to the bathroom. And then it's Tuesday, so I think she has... She has, um, let's see. Chess team, yeah. She's not there yet. Oh, wait! Yeah, she, she has chess team, chess team soon. After using the bathroom, I'll send her there. Who is that? Maintenance? That's cool. Custodian. That's cool. Okay, finish using the restroom. And then I'm going to send you home. So you can actually go to chess team. Wait, is she going? Go home, quickly. I don't know if she's going to make it. Okay, I think she'll make it. Yeah, we have to do this because if you send her to like her work or her school activity from another lot, like it doesn't actually send her there. So unfortunately, she's got to do it this way. Yeah, just play some games on your phone. That's fine. Before work. I mean, before chess team. Wait, doesn't she have to go? Oh, in two days. What? So she didn't go? I think it's bugged or something. Well, uh, let's open social bunny. Oh, that's weird. I thought she had chess today. Oh well. Okay, so instead, what can she do? How much money is a bed? Let's check. Because she'll need to save up for that, I think. Beds. 330, 400. The new beds are pretty expensive. The cheapest one is 240, uncomfortable for adults. I don't know about teens. Or 255, which is also uncomfortable. We don't want uncomfortable. Maybe 315, but this one's 330, so I would rather get this one because it has discomfort relief, like a cute bed. So maybe we'll save up for that. Um, I'm actually gonna have her go to the thrifty because she can start buying an outfit. And that will be fun. So let's go to Thrifty. Okay. Okay, so she's at Thrifty. She's about to pass out, but I want her to... Um, is this the owner? Yeah. I want her to talk about fashion looks. Yes. And let's see, what else can she do? Talk about fashion trends. I want her to see what's trending so she can make a fashion look. Hopefully she has enough money to do that. Okay, okay, about trendy and fashion looks. Thrifty. Go visit Thrifty to hunt for your next fashion look. You can also talk to the owner about which trends are hot right now. Trendy. You can create fashion looks in Thrifty and sell them on Trendy. You can also buy other listings, hype them, and sell those too. Cool. Trends and hype. Every fashion look belongs to a trend. Wearing and promoting a fashion look increases its hype level as well as making that trend more popular. Okay, so maybe... Huh. We can hype it as well. So we can see what's popular and hype it. And then successfully hyping and selling fashion looks will gain followers. More followers increases your success when selling on Trendy. Okay, so we have zero followers right now. But we're going to learn about the trends a little bit. Okay, what did she learn? Okay. 
I'm quite busy at the moment. I might have time later to confirm some wisdom. Okay, so maybe the store is just a little busy right now. And she's very sad having a mood swing. Respectful rejection. Oh. Okay, let's check social bunny. Seeing someone with lunch in their teeth. How embarrassing. Oh gosh, I hope that wasn't us. <laughs> Molly says, your style is everything. Teach me your ways. Oh, really? She was just in her uniform today. I think she would be happy about that. Maybe heart eyes. Yeah. And then she'll message Molly. Like a friendly message. Yeah. Molly, we should get together and hang out sometime. Yeah. Okay, let's try to create a fashion look. I'm kind of excited about this. Like, I really love Cass in The Sims. That's one of my favorite parts. So hopefully she can do this before she passes. Oh, no, no, no. She's passing out. Well, when she wakes up, we're going to create a fashion look. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. She just passes out, like, every day. <laughs> OK, so let's see. Boho was neutral. I want to try doing like, what can we do? What clothes do they have today? Oh, they have quite a lot. Maybe we can see what it is. Let's just put an outfit together. And they have different swatches for different things. Oh, this one's cool. I like this shirt or the tie dye. This comes in different colors. OK, that's cool sweater but it's hot today so maybe something a little bit cooler like this yeah let's do this in like pink polka dots and bottoms what she can what can she do like a skirt is there any other bottoms she can do so the thing about trendy is like the amount or the items that you see there are actually limited because um they don't have the full range. So you can only choose like what they have that day in the store. So it's going to change each time. It's really interesting. Maybe this one in white. That's kind of cute. And then, or maybe this, ooh, that's kind of cute. Let's do it in pink or white. Ooh. Actually, I'm going to do this look. So right now it's trending. Style is preppy. Okay, so preppy. Maybe right now the total cost is 90. So let's do socks. Okay, there's no socks today. How about leggings? There's leggings. Maybe like white tights or sheer ones. No. That doesn't work. Let's just do shoes. So shoes, something preppy. What goes? Oh, these definitely go. What else could she do? These ones. Mm. That doesn't really go. There's these. Maybe in white. Some wedges. Or like just some white flats, maybe. Total cost 115. How about these? These are 115 also. Maybe these. Or these are also these are a little more expensive. This one is preppy. Oh, I think the flats work better actually. Maybe in black and white, like kind of like a Chanel inspired look. But maybe I'll do the top a different swatch. Something that goes better. Is there something like that has black? That's kind of cute. It's still preppy. Yeah, maybe this. And then let's see if there's a hat we can add. <laughs> That's too much. Um, is there anything preppy? Let's see. Style. Preppy. Nothing. Okay. Well, let's just do this outfit then. 
think it's kind of cute. Yeah. And we'll do it, um... <laughs> we'll call it... We'll call it... What should we call it? Add custom. <laughs> we'll call it... Shit. Be my valent be my Valentine or something. Be my preppy Valentine. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, we'll do this. Done. So we bought an outfit. This is exciting. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll make a good profit from this. So we want to hype the outfit first. But she's not in a great mood, so I don't know if that's gonna do anything. Maybe we want her to be in a good mood first. Let's see. It's hype neutral right now. But we're gonna have her uh, get some energy first, I think. So she's gonna go nap on the sofa a few times. <laughs> Going up on the sofa. And then after that, when she's in a bit of a better mood, I'm gonna have her try to promote the outfit. Like hype the outfit. Okay, so she's here. Okay. Um, you can wake up now, that's fine. I don't know if it's gonna like work since she's in a bad mood, but we'll try. So wear your outfit. Oh, she's crying. But look, this is her new outfit. It's pretty cute. So she's gonna hype it. Let's see. Where can she do it? How can she hype with this outfit? Promote current look. Yeah, let's do that. So she's going to promote her current look. Let's see. Showing excellent fashion sense has gained Emerson 12 followers. Remember that having more followers makes it easier to sell fashion looks on Trendy. Emerson posted a picture of her fit on Trendy. Excitement around this look was high and outfit hype has increased. Cool. So what is it now? Still neutral? Let's try again. Um, not this one. Where is it? Wait, this new interface is kind of hard. I think it's social? Or it gotta be, it's gotta be this one, I think. Um, wait, where is it? Social bunny. Oh, here. Trendy. So there's a whole app for Trendy. Okay. Why don't you promote your current look again? Okay. So showing excellent fashion sense has gained Emerson 34 followers. Remember that having more followers, da 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 da. So it also increased. So she's inspired now. Cool. From her fashion empire growing. Aw, I'm glad to hear that. So she's feeling a little bit better. Hype is still neutral. Let's try it again to hype this look one more time. Promote current look. When she gains more followers, I think she's going to be in a better state. Oh! Appreciation was low and hype has decreased. Oh no. Okay, just take it off. Ru sell outfit on Trendy. Let's do that. Okay, so she bought it for 115. Let's try to sell it for 200. <laughs> okay. Let's try to make a profit. And then let's quickly try to do homework and go to bed. We'll go to bed here. Nap, nap, nap. <laughs> okay, so she's doing homework in this little chair upstairs. A lot of social bunny worthy things happened to Emerson today. Okay, let's open social bunny. Oh, 
Kiyoshi! <laughs> Emerson, fun fact, cow plants always get left out, which is why they suffer from severe FOMU. <laughs> oh god, I haven't heard that one, but that's pretty cute. I think she's gonna be, like, happy. <laughs> And then, Yuki, lunch is a great time to make some friends. Who wants to be besties? She can do a happy one. And Sydney says, Sul Sul Emerson, Garba Nerba Yama Na Beasterle. <laughs> God, my Simlish. I need to work on it. <laughs> She'll be like happy too. And Lucha says, get you a bestie like Emerson. I didn't realize we were besties. This random adult sim. Legit can't live without them. Okay, sure. Um, yeah, ha ha ha. Okay, let's see, messages. Emerson, we should get together and hang out sometime. I think she'll do like love hearts. Yeah. So who should she message? People who messaged her. So Sophia, let's do a friendly message. And then Yuki as well. Let's do funny message. And Kyoshi, let's do friendly. Okay, cool. Sophia, we should get together and hang out sometime. Uh, I ordered a chicken and egg online. I'll let you know which one comes first. I think that was for Yuki. And then, oh, she told Kyoshi, your style is everything. Teach me your ways. So yeah, she found Kyoshi first, like at the thrifty store. And they kind of bonded over fashion, so I think they might be good friends in that arena. So yeah, I'm gonna have her finish her homework. Oh! She's too tense now, unfortunately. But she did some good work. I'm gonna have her go downstairs and just nap. Dude, her life is so hard. <laughs> this is too realistic. Oh no, Kiyoshi's there and he's just watching her sleep at Thrifty. That is so embarrassing. Oh no. Cassandra's there too. Ah, it's okay, just sleep. Don't worry about it. Let me check her social bunny. Oh, when she's sleeping, she can't check it. That makes sense. Okay. Well, it's getting pretty late here. It's time for me to have lunch and get on with my day. So thank you for so much for joining me for this stream. I was so excited to stream today. And I hope you enjoyed my first high school years uh, Rags to Riches stream. So thank you so much for joining me today. The next time I'll be streaming is on Sunday here um, at the same time. So if you're around, please join me for my same stream, Rags to Riches stream on Sunday. And I hope you enjoyed the stream and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. <laughs> Take care. Bye bye. Stay safe. <laughs>